So the chickens are all acting afraid. I looked out down to the back pasture when I was milking maple and I saw them running and acting agitated and I saw something run across the back pasture. So we've got to figure out, so, and I found these feathers. There's feathers there. There's feathers over here. I think it's a fox. It looked like a fox. I saw fur. It looked like a fox to me. Never mind. I see an Orpington over there. I see two of them. So I got two. My two Orpingtons left. Yeah, there's something that's getting in here. We're gonna have to let Sophie back here. You let me set up a trap. Looks like they got a duck, a baby duckling, and an Orpington. The boys are going into the woods to see if they can track down clues or find out how it's even getting in. I don't even know how it's getting in. I don't even know how it's getting in. Missing one of the babies. There's only eight now. There were nine yesterday. <sighs> we're going to have to let Sophie in. Sophie, we're going to have to trust you. It's time for you to come in. Can you do it? I think you can, Sophie. Go work? Gonna go to work? Sophie, are you looking for eggs? That's not supposed to be your job. Your job is to find the bad guy. Go get the bad guy, Sophie. Sophie, go get the bad guy. Well, definitely was something back here and traumatized him because this poor hen, she won't come out of the corner for anything. And if it took the other Orpington, she was probably hanging with her Orpington friend when it happened. So she's a bit traumatized. Probably tried to get her first, honestly. So my son, found where the fox is getting in. And I swear it's a fox because I saw red and, oh yes. I saw the red and black fur. Oh, that's totally it. Look at that. Oh. <gasps> Chicken feather. Yep. I feel like this one that's been hiding in the corner has some kind of injury. I can see it on her back. It looks like the fox might have got her around her neck. So we're going to try to catch her so I can examine her. I did not like the way she was acting. So my son and I caught her and this is what I found. Definitely a really bad tear in her skin. We're going to have to doctor her. Keep her isolated. She's just traumatized, poor thing. It's in the milk room where I do everything, but you can tell, you couldn't really see. It just, her, rough, rough, her feathers look ruffled, so that's why I picked her up. So now I'm going to put some um, alcohol on it, even though it will hurt. I feel bad, but that's, I got to get cleaned out. And then some triple antibiotic. This is not my first time dealing with an injured chicken. Um, I feel bad for her. I'm going to do whatever I can do to help her, though. I know, I know, I know. So I'm going to pull it in the direction that I want the skin to go. So I want the skin to be pulled up this way. There. And so I'm going to go ahead and put her in. Um, we have to go out to go to church, so maybe I'll stop by Walgreens or Walmart or something and get some pads and come down here and dress this up when I get back. But for now, that at least keep things covered and clean. So, poor thing. I know. Poor thing. There she is. I can hear her wheezing, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on her. Hope it didn't puncture its lung. Okay, Matthew's going to go ahead and ride down to the, he, he's going to go take care of the chickens. He has chicken chores. And he's going to check the traps while he's at it. I'm going to go ahead and um, check to see how our chicken is doing. I decided I'm probably just going to leave 
the dressing alone for now and change it later today. But I do want to see if she's how she's doing. Let's see. How you doing? <gasps> she looks like she's doing okay. Good. I'll get you some food. Okay, little mama. Her comb's nice and red. That's a sign of a healthy chicken when you have a nice red comb. It hasn't paled at all. Very good. For a nasty wound, she's doing really well. I'll be right with you, Maple. I'll be back. Matthew says we did catch something. Not what we wanted to catch, but I'm going to show you what we caught. Oh, it's just an adder. <laughs> it's a baby possum. It's all right. We're not going to kill you. Poor thing's scared. So unless an animal starts killing off our livestock, I don't have a problem with them living around our property. This little possum probably has not ventured onto our property, I'm going to guess. <laughs> All right, come on, go. You're good now. Maybe if you back away. Hey dude, I know you're still waking up. What's the plan? We reset the trap. What are you gonna put in the trap? Um, probably more sardines. Seemed to work pretty well, huh? Yeah. Maple's oh. over there eating. So. <laughs> Maple, you gonna keep the fox away, Maple? Thor, did you go to work? Good boy. A good boy as you are. So as you can see, we've let in Sophie. And after our video about it was just so much trouble with her at the beginning, I'm going to see if she's ready for this. I mean, we don't have a choice at this point. She has to be ready for this. And ladies, who's hungry? Who's hungry? You guys hungry? All right. I'll be right over to feed you. This is not fox. This is Sophie plucking tail feathers. This is what she does. She terrorizes them. What am I supposed to do? This is our handsome rooster. You can see there's nothing wrong with him, except now he's missing his tail feathers. And it's because of Sophie. 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 <laughs> So we've tried to come up with solutions and this is the best we can do for the moment until we catch the fox. So my poor chickens will be a little stressed, but at least they won't be dead. This time we're gonna try hamburger meat. We're gonna see how that goes. So maybe it won't attract stuff from far away, but if the fox comes back through here, maybe I'll see it. Okay. Yeah. Matthew tried making a snare there. We're going to see if that works as well. And then in the meantime, I'm getting mauled by Sophie. Sophie, how am I supposed to video Sophie? So, oh gosh. So I'm going to keep you updated. That's all we have for now. But this means war. I cannot have foxes coming in and killing my livestock. <laughs>